Hi YouTube, Watchify here with another video. Maybe you are considering developing a watch collection of your own, or maybe you already have one. So I wanted to share my thoughts on my watch collecting experiences and some of the joys and pitfalls I've observed myself. First off, one might ask how many watches do you need to be able to call it a collection? I think it's generally accepted that you would need to have multiple watches. It's sort of like how if you own one or two vehicles, you wouldn't say that you have a car collection. Whatever amount of watches you decide on is up to you, but I hear that five to eight watches is a common amount. I'm guessing most collectors acquire watches slowly over time and buy new ones and sell others as they go along. The temptation to add new watches to the collection is in a way fueled by social media as much as it is by the watchmakers themselves. Watch review channels are plentiful on YouTube and based on my Reddit history, every time I open it, I'm presented with a watch or watch mod related post. I'm not into Instagram, but I'm aware that there's a lot of watch related content there too. The positive side of being exposed to watch content online is you're likely to find out about a watch model that you were not previously even aware of. On the flip side, if you're anything like me, it could make you want to purchase that watch to add to the collection. Pretty soon you could end up with too many watches to practically wear each on a regular basis. I think that for some that isn't a big deal as just owning the watch and knowing that you could wear it whenever you wanted to is enough enjoyment for them. Since I buy most of my watches online, I have made the mistake of thinking I wanted a watch based on the pictures online, but once I actually had it on wrist and wore it for a while, I found I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Those are the watches I eventually sold almost always for less than what I originally paid for them. Buying watches online also subjects you to the dreaded quality control issues that you often hear about on YouTube. However, if you're a collector of less mainstream or widely available models, it's almost unavoidable that you make your purchases online as these models likely won't be carried in your local store or authorized dealer. In terms of buying pre-owned watches to add to your collection, I've purchased some pre-owned watches before, both from individual sellers and authorized dealers, and so far haven't had any issues. There are some bargains to be had in comparison to buying new, as long as you do your research on the seller's reputation, and if the seller honestly discloses the condition of the watch with detailed photos. Buying pre-owned is usually the only way to get discontinued watch models into your collection. I feel that if someone's going to have a watch collection, it should probably have a theme of some sorts. For example, there are people that collect only G-Shocks, vintage watches, micro brands, or only a particular brand or type of watch. Having an affordable watch collection or a high-end collection is also a common theme in watch collecting. Of course, it's up to each person to decide what they want to base their collection on, but for me, I decided to collect affordable to semi-affordable Japanese brand watches. I did this because I felt there there's a wide variety of styles, price points, and brands to choose from like Seiko, Orient, Casio, and Citizen, all with extensive catalogs. I had always been a fan of Seiko and since I had wanted to start modding some of my watches, it made sense to include Seikos in my collection since the vast majority of mod parts are made to be compatible with popular Seiko models. The potential problem with collecting affordable watches though is that no one purchase carries with it a significant cost. Say if you came across a watch that you really wanted in your collection and it was under $500, you might just go ahead and buy it whereas if the watch costs $2,000, it would make you pause or possibly not even purchase it. If you own enough affordable watches though and go back and add up the cost of each, you will find that it probably equaled or surpassed that $2,000 watch that you had hesitated to buy. So yes, you do have three or four different watches, but would you have prized having that single $2,000 watch in your collection even more? Right now, it seems to me that interest in watches and watch collecting is at a high point. Even though some thought smart watches would become so popular they would take the place of older mechanical and quartz watches, that hasn't occurred. 
I myself owned a smartwatch years ago and I did find it somewhat useful, but I grew tired of all the notifications, the small screen, and worst of all, having to charge it and remembering to bring the charger with me whenever I traveled. Like phones, they tend to grow obsolete only after a few years. So I sold it and went back to wearing my regular watches. There's something timeless about, you know, older watches, especially mechanical ones. Most of them simply tell you the time and they will continue to carry out that simple function decades into the future. I get that in modern times a wristwatch isn't essential since everyone carries a phone with them, but the wristwatch is equally a jewelry piece as much as it is a timekeeping device now. As for my current collection of watches, most of the watches I regretted buying I've sold already. So what remains are watches that I generally enjoy owning and have some sort of attachment to, whether that be because I purchased it during a memorable point in my life, or it was a watch that I have since modded several times to make it my own. I don't know what the future holds, but it is possible I might one day decide to sell most of them and purchase maybe just one or two high-end luxury watches instead. I can totally understand how someone would just want to own one or two watches and never delve into collecting watches at all. It could be that it just doesn't interest them or they would rather spend that time and money on other things. One thing is for sure, watch brands are going to continue to release new models that catch our eye and tempt us to purchase just one more watch as they say. It's up to each person to decide which watches and how many they want in their collection. It could be that you plan on keeping them long term and intend to pass them down to other family members one day. I will say that it's probably not realistic to consider collecting mainstream watches as an investment strategy though as most of today's affordable to semi-affordable watches will not rise significantly in value as time goes on. For that you would need to be collecting high-end luxury brands like Rolex I think. That's it for my musings on watch collecting. If you found it interesting, feel free to leave a like, comment, or consider subscribing. I wanted to thank you for watching, of course, and hopefully I'll see you in another video.